Hi, welcome back. It is Tech Tip Tuesday. It's the first one of 2019. Woo. We're so glad you're back. We missed a couple weeks, but we are here talking about productivity in Google Keep. Yay! Yes. So let's just get into it. Awesome, yes. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I like it. So you're looking at all of Brooke's beautiful Google Keep ness. It's like she online, has going on. Online sticky notes, kind of. Mm -hmm. Much, to -do much list? easier. Tasks. Mm hmm Great. Got rid of all my sticky notes around my desk. Loving it. Okay. There's a lot. So how do we start? Start by taking a note. Take a note. Put a little title. I don't know. Maybe we're talking about koala bears. Shocker. I know, I know. Take a note. Blah, oh, blah, blah. they eat leaves. They're sleepy. They're cute. Great. Well, you know what? I think this might be better as like a checklist. Yes. What do you think? I love checklists because I feel so accomplished after. So me too. Click the dots. Woot woot. Show checkboxes, <gasps> and there you are. You and do it, you check it off. We can add more checkboxes. Wait, Brooke, what? that's a good one. Add this to me. Share it with me. Oh, I'd like to share, share this with, with you because we're going to write that paper about Koala's again. That whole paper. Perfect. All right, so share button. Brianna. Oh. Hey. Hey. Now we have a collaborative sticky note yep. where we can talk and discuss and checkbox away. Yep. Pretty Absolutely. fantastic. What's your favorite part about this, though? Oh, my favorite part is the color coding, guys. Look, you can change the colors on this. So my favorite color, you can do the pink one. I like the pink one. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so I have the pink one. Now, Brooke changed it on her end, but when I open it up on my computer over there, it's not going to be pink. I can choose whatever color system I want. Oh, it's okay. I'm lying. I really don't pick yellow. Yeah. Clearly. So there I am. And or there's a color, and that's just my favorite part. Yeah. But more. Okay. More, right? Yep. Yeah, there's a lot more. You can pull in a picture if you needed to. That's what this little picture mm -hmm. icon is. You can archive, meaning go away. But, of course, there's still more. Polka dots. Okay. You can add labels to organize it. So if you look over here on the left, you can see all of my labels. And if I click on any of those labels, it will pull in any notes, stickies, that have that label on it. Right? Yep. The more the merrier. New colors stay if you apply to color. Exactly. Uh oh, we lost our koalas. There oh, they wait, are. koalas. Go ahead and close it. Oh, I'm going to close it. So, <laughs> koalas are now at the bottom. That's okay. And, um, but you need to access them regularly. Oh, because we do koalas a lot. All the time. Pin, pin it at the top. As soon as you press that push pin, it moves it to the top in your pinned area. Yeah, but I don't want it right there. Okay. I want it somewhere. There you go. Okay, I like it right there too. Yeah, you can we'll drag leave it right it. there. Great, perfect. So awesome. very easy to use. Back to polka dots. Other things that you can do, copy mm. to Google Docs. Why is this amazing? <laughs> so if you have a lot of things to do, like Brooke, um, if you save this to a Google Doc, it turns it into a doc for you. So it's not as much information. So say you're doing some research, you find some really good things over and over and over and over again, and your keep note gets really full. Well, convert it to docs, open it in docs, and now you have a Google Doc that is also saved in your Google Drive with all of the information that you put in your keep note there yes. for you. Fabulous. Yeah. Definitely a great feature. Love it. One of the last things that I would like to share with you about the Keep Notes is their reminders because they're fabulous. If you click the little bell, you have, hey, remind me later. Today. Oh, remind me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, remind me next week. Yep. Or pick a specific date and time. But mo fancy, yep. pick a place. It's the best one. If I have a grocery list, for instance, and I want that list to pop up on my phone because I'm going to forget when I get to Rouse's, Albertsons, wherever you're shopping that day, you click pick a place and you put in the address. And guess what? As soon as you get to that place on your phone, if you have the Keep app, free, it will pop up. Yep. Just make sure location services are on so that your phone knows that you're there. And then everything you do on your computer screen will transfer over to the app and vice versa. Right. It's all connected because, you know, it's Google. That's Google. how it works. So reminders are fantastic. Yes. Last bit of note, if you are on a touchscreen device, there is an annotation tool so you can actually handwrite a sticky note. That'd be good. I like it. Or Chromebooks. Definitely. Or yeah. your phone, too. Oh, yeah. Right. Can you use your finger? Yeah, you could. Unless it's really big. We're not going to go there. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, so last piece of the puzzle. Last piece. Google has an extension for this. So if you download it from the store or from Chrome the Chrome web store. store. Chrome Web Store. You just Google Chrome Web Store. Oh, there it is. Search for Google Keep. I already have it, so that's why it says added, but you would click add to Chrome. Right. So it adds it to the top for you. So say you're doing some research like, say, giraffes, maybe. And you come across this website, and it's a really great website, and you want to remember to look at it later. You want to remember to take some notes from it later. Um, maybe take yourself, just give yourself a little bit of a note just to remember what you're saving it for. Um, so I like this web page. I'm going to press on the Google Keep extension at the top. And it says to take a note or give it a title. So this would be my giraffe research. There you go. And I might put a little note. Awesome. And I can even give it a label. So if I wanted to put this in an ELA project or an ELA folder or something, um, a label that I'm working on, I just click on there. And y'all, this is great for kids doing research because it saves the link so they can actually read and take notes. And the link is connected to the notes that they took. And it doesn't leave the web page. They can do it straight from there. Exactly. For you. So exactly. Now, when you go back to the key, oh, it saves it for you also. So when you go back to the keep store, I mean the keep store, <laughs> Google keep, if you go, where do we go? It says it's saved. It but says it's saved. Sometimes it takes a hot we're, minute. Yeah, we're taking a little minute, so I, we'll refresh. So it's somewhere on there. Mm -hmm. Come on, little party, keep. Son. Come on, little keep. Oh, there it is. is. Look that so cute there's our giraffe. research, our website, and a little bitty picture from the website to show us what we were looking at, and our labels are there for us. So Beautiful. works really great. Yes. Um, also, if you find a website you like, you can right click and save it to Google Keep the same way. So say I like this website, instead of doing it at the top, which I've already done, um, if I press Kate, save to keep, it would do the same thing that I just did. So yes. um, lots of options there for you. I hope it makes you work a little bit smarter, not harder, um, keeps you going on those New Year's goals. And tell them about our requests. Oh, do not forget if, well, not do not forget, <laughs> news to you. If you want to submit your um, Tech Tip Tuesday request to us, maybe there's something that you use that's really great and you want other people to know about it. If you go to tinyurl.com backslash forward slash forward, forward slash um, TTT request and fill out the form, um, it'll tell us what you have submitted and you may see it on the next Tech Tip Tip Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> also, so, all uh, of our videos. Oh, they're all now on YouTube. Um, you can check us out on our YouTube channel, Tech by LPSS. And um, we can't wait to get some feedback from you. Have a great day. Is that yes. it? First awesome. time back. Love y'all. Bye.